Hi everybody, welcome back. Hope you're doing great. I received my boxy charm box yesterday and I want to do an opening, although I've already opened it and looked at the products. And I've added up the price of the all the products together. <clears throat> now if you don't know about Jack Boxy Charm, it's a monthly subscription box. This month their theme is fantasy. They always send you a card with the products information and what they are retail. You pay $24.99 a month um, and you get a box that's either worth, in my experience, anywhere from like $150 to $200 worth of products and they're all full size. I love it because I don't have to pay much money to try out some good products. And there I go playing with my hair. <laughs> so we're gonna do a little bit of makeup with some of the stuff and I'll talk about what's in here. Before I get started, I wanted to show you these really cute earrings, the moon. And I bought these at a vendor market and I'm not affiliated with her at all, but I do wanna mention her. Uh, she is June SP Jewelry by Paola. If you want to take a screenshot of that and she is on uh, Instagram that's her link and I'll put it down below these are made from a special type of clay and she can take them and make them into the post kind of earrings or the little hook I like the hook better and I like just like them where they hang on my lobes and I picked them up. Actually, my sister-in-law bought them for me and they were $20. They're handmade and just beautiful. So give her shop a little um, look-see and see if you can see something to pick up. And let's get started with the boxy charm. Okay, so this is the box. It's the same type of box every month. Not same, but you know, same packaging. In it, the first thing I got was the makeup blending sponge set. These are adorable. There is one missing because I took it out because I'm going to use it today with some powder foundation. I uh, go back and forth with using either a brush or a sponge to apply my foundation and sometimes even cream blushes. Uh, the brand makeup blending is, let's see, it's M2UYNYC and it says they're cruelty free and vegan and they come in the different kind of styles of makeup sponges and the price for those let's see yeah m2u new york makeup blending makeup blending sponge set for twenty dollars so that's that's a good price because the beauty blender which i no longer buy they're twenty dollars a piece a piece and I think that's ridiculous okay this product I tried last night and from first impressions I really liked it it's the outcrease retinol trifecta serum what I liked about this is that it was very moisturizing and that's very surprising to me because a lot of most retinols that I've used before uh, work really good on my skin but they dry it out. I don't really get that peeling. I've tried Retin-A in the past and I've gotten a little peeling. Retinol is kind of a, it's just a little bit less, uh, not harmful, but it's a, it's a little less strong, if that makes sense. And this went on really nice. So I will tell you like in um, a video later or in my faves and flops, if I liked it or not. Oh, and let's see the price for that. This is the Derma Select. There goes the box on the floor. The Derma Select Cosmo, Cosmocuticals Outcrease Retinol Trifecta Serum. And it's $39. And it says it successfully targets, targets, <laughs> targets the look of fine lines, wrinkles, thick skin, and sun damage. I also, I also use a vitamin um, C serum. And I like the way that works too uh, with the um, the sun damage. Uh, but don't use vitamin C and retinol the same day. It's just too hard for your skin. The next product is this Muddy Mask, which I found the name of it kind of strange. Is that right? 
There we go. This is a Moisture Boost Vitamin Boost Feeding Nourishing Firming for right underneath your eyes. And it's supposed to reduce dark circles. And I have to give some time for this. I did use it last night. It says you can use it under makeup, but I like to use a, um, an eye cream in the morning. So I used this last night. I didn't feel really a big difference, but it was just, you know, eight hours or whatever. And the price for that is $63. So that's pretty pricey. But if you put just a little bit, this will last you for a long time. And let's see, it's uh, cruelty free, PETA friendly. And that's about all I can use. And this says that this, it says that it lasts 12 months. Be careful with your products not to use, uh, you know, watch the expiration dates because it's not healthy for your skin to use things that um, are uh, expired. I, I can't talk. Okay, this next product is the Basic Beauty Lip Oil. And let's see, it's the summer lip oil and it's $18. Looks like that. I should take off what I have on my lip. I have a little bit of like foam from Jouer, or I should say the essential lip enhancer. Take that off. All right. And let's try this. I was like, just oh, it has like a coconut smell or scent. Mm. Feels nice. It feels more like a lip gloss than an oil. So, if that's something that's important to you, then take that in consideration. It has a light scent, but nothing like nauseating. And I can foresee that this scent will dissipate. And the price for that is $18. So, to oh, we got the big one here. Got Illamasqua eyeshadow palette. Now, Illamasqua is a brand, I believe, that they are produced in the UK. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and in Paris. They used to sell it at Sephora, but they stopped um, several years ago. I've never really tried this brand. But this is kind of like their signature packaging, this curve inside, this shape. Most of their products that come in like a palette are shaped like this. It is a nice, really nice packaging. And this is called the Unveiled Artistry Palette. Got a nice weight to the lid, which I like. And there's a little mirror. It doesn't cover like the whole the whole thing but it covers like just where your eye area is so that's pretty cool it has one of those overlays where it'll tell you the colors which I'm not particularly fond of those because I'll either lose them or if I'm you know if somebody asks well what color do you have on your eyes and you know I gotta refer I gotta find this so some of the names are kind of cute vivacity bold chutzpah I like the chutzpah one so let's try to do a little bit of a makeup look here um i'm going to put foundation on first and my face is a little bit more not oily but a little i don't know it's summer and my face gets like a little more dewy than maybe i like it and so i'm going to do use the infallible fresh wear i've talked about this before in a video and i really like it i'm going to take my sponge dry when i use powder products i like to use a sponge dry when I use uh, liquid products like a liquid foundation I like to use the sponge wet and not like totally soaking wet I take it wet it under the tap and then like squeeze it out and put it like a towel over to get that extra moisture out this feels really nice very compar comparable to sponges that I have used before. It's working so far really nice with this foundation. If you um, have a very dry skin, I would recommend to moisturize really well and let it sit for maybe about 20, 30 minutes and then go in with the um, 
foundation. My skin is like kind of combo and in the summer I do get like a little bit more oily-esque. Let's lay it down really nice. I look really pale but I'm going to add color but this matches my skin tone really well. And just for reference this color is in I don't know where to look with these. 130. Hmm. 130 True Beige. And I'll try to put a card up there so it'll show you uh, the video that I did all about this foundation or feature. And that feels nice. Sponge worked really nice. So first impression is good. Now let's bronze up my skin a little bit. I picked this up yesterday from Essence and this is the Sub Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder. And this is like really big. So I think it'll last a long time. Let's get a brush. This is one from Wet n Wild. It's, I use it a lot for blush and bronzer. And let's start putting some color into my skin. The L'Oreal, uh, L'Oreal, <laughs> the L'Oreal Infallible Powder is really nice. It's probably one of my favorite drugstore foundations because although I have been using a lot of drugstore brands for other products like lips and cheeks and eyes, I haven't had much luck when it comes to foundation working well with my skin. But the L'Oreal Infallible really is very nice. It's matte, but you can always go up with, go up, go on with like a uh, shimmery product or something that has a little bit of a glow if you don't want like that total matte look. I went on really really light. I know it's a not it's not a dark bronzer but I was hoping that it'd be a little darker but it's okay. We'll work with it. And then let's just quickly add a little blush. We'll do the Jouer uh, Rose Gold palette. It's in Marigold and Rose Petal. And I just love Joy's um, blushes. I just blend both of them right together. And I'm liking it already. Right there. So yeah, getting back to BoxyCharm, I think they're really good value. And they're a really nice way to try out products that um, you just can't get access to or you've been wanting to try but you don't want to like pay the total amount for the product like this palette is fifty dollars u.s retail maybe you don't want to pay that much maybe you can't afford it. maybe you just don't want to and so if you get this in your um boxy charm or a palette like it it's a good way to um be able to try those things and it's it's so affordable, $25 a month. I mean, for me at least, I shouldn't say for everybody because everybody has a different budget. Okay, we're gonna do some matte work. So we're gonna go up in here and I'm gonna take this color here that's kind of like a taupey brown, just with a, it's very powdery, a lot of kickback. So make sure to tap off your brush if you get this. And then go right in that crease color is a lot darker in the on my skin than it is in the palette. I'm not hating it. But it's much dark, much darker. It's so weird how it the color doesn't really match what it looks like in the palette. Wow. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to have to go in with like a color like this. I kind of lighten it up a little bit cuz a little too dark for me. Don't be afraid of blending colors. It's a lot of fun. You create your own look and just you kind of step out of your comfort zone trying something new. Yeah, that that is better. Now I'm going to take a flat shader brush 
and go in with this really light color. It reminds me of the Wet n Wild Brulee. For those of you that have watched YouTube for quite a while, that was a big cult classic and I happen to have one right in front of me. I picked that up at Walgreens, I mean CVS. See, this is doing a big re reboot of like all their stores. And I was in, I think it was Georgia, and I saw the reboot, reboot like last, a couple years ago. But now they've started doing that here in Florida. And they're putting more makeup brands and more of the products. Like this little single palette of the brulee is so hard to find at one time only walgreens sold it and then online i want to blend this dark crease color a little bit more i feel like it needs a little bit more blending and before i got on camera i put some mascara on i will probably add a little bit more and i also use some concealer and i've been trying a technique that i saw Wayne Goss do. Wayne Goss is a magnificent makeup artist. I highly recommend if you've never watched his videos to check them out because he's he explains everything perfectly and he's not all about like the Instagram look. He's into more like a natural beauty look. Now I'm gonna go in with this color here. And I should be telling you the colors, but oh well. <laughs> and taking that on a flat shader brush. And I'm gonna do that little kind of halo eye technique where I go right in the middle with that. Kind of makes the eye pop. And it's not so flat. I do like working with matte shadows. And I have to say that this palette, even though there's a little bit of kickback, like you could see here. Oh, could you see it? I don't know. Yeah, you can see it there. I found working with them while I was talking <laughs> that the for a matte it's a nice creamy texture if that makes sense so I like working with mattes especially as I get older and, and I really like mattes like in my crease but a lot of times they can be very chalky and hard to work with you have to be really patient but this one really liked it so I would recommend picking up an Illamasqua palette if you find one uh, if you find one you can go online to Illamasqua.com and it's the unveiled artistry palette and I'll just put that there for a little screenshot and there for a screenshot and I'll try to mention the products down below uh, and if I can find links I'll put them there too okay I really like that it's good pretty look um, one thing I want to do though is I want to blend my bronzer and blush a little better. I always like to keep a clean or cleanish brush that doesn't have anything but maybe a powder on it just to blend it all so you don't have like those lines of blush. It's not the 80s girls, even though sometimes I wish it was because I did that age back <laughs> but I'm doing pretty good my age um that blended a little bit better and let's put a little bit of a color on the lab oh we'll go in with this Jouer this is the Jouer um color and poppy and it's so hard to read and I've had eye surgery so let's come on people I think these are essential lip color I'll put the link down below along with my um, discount code. I should have taken off that bomb, that oil, but yeah, it kind of feels too slickish. <laughs> so let me take that off. And this is just a makeup wipe. This is rather um, emollient. There you go. That's nice. That just kind of brightened up my face. Um, if I wanted to, which I don't feel like it, I could darken my eyebrows a little bit. But that's the look from the BoxyCharm products. 
I was pleasantly surprised. Uh, when I opened this up yesterday, I thought, hmm, it's all right. I always do enjoy that they send me, uh, or yeah, they send me, I pay for it, but it's in my box. Um, a palette, whether it's a face or eyeshadow palette, because I really like to try them out and I like that they have a lot of different colors. Um, I could also put a little eyeliner, maybe I'll do that later, but I don't want to make this video so long for you. Just try to find a good angle. So uh, this is the BoxyCharm for July and it's the Fantasy. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will leave links down below. Please like, hit that thumbs up button. Uh, comment and subscribe, please. I'm trying to reach a goal of a thousand subscribers by September, and I will be doing a giveaway, but it's gonna be a kind of sneaky one, because uh, I've known, I've learned from the past that if you don't do a sneaky giveaway, you're gonna get all kinds of people that really don't want your channel. Hop on just so that they get a free gift, and that's not fair to the people that have been here for a while or that watch my video consistently. So let me know if you saw this down below, even if you just say hi, leave me that thumbs up. Take care of yourselves and have a great day. Bye-bye.